How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be showing you all the fastest method to complete these AL and NL showdowns in order to unlock the Stage 2 Team Affinity Future Star Diamond cards. And basically what you're going to do is going to showdown against the American League or the National League. Both of these work the same. I'm going to be focusing the majority of this video on the NL because I wanted to get some of these cards right away. So what I'm going to do first is draft my team of course and then I'm going to build it in a way where any cards can be out of position because you're going up against a pitcher you don't have to play defense at all if you skip all the way to the end which is what I'm doing I'm down by 15 runs I need to score 16 runs without recording 20 outs I've already earned one out and one run so as we do this it's going I'm going to advance a little bit I'm not going to take you through each and every round I'm going to be doing this a, a few times in this video I've completed it this method uh, between six and eight times I've already lost count in uh, showdown how many times I've completed this but this is probably the easiest way to complete it and if you can get some production from some of these bronze cards that you're drafting in in the rounds and everything because you're only going to get to select eight players and two perks those are very important as well as completing these these showdowns is is important to save money and save stubs if that's the route that you're taking as well so i wanted to focus on how to do it with no money spent i have already completed some exchanges as well but that was just cards that i've saved up in my binder cards that i purchased on the market pr uh, prior to these cards releasing because i knew that those cards would go up and i wanted to make sure that i would be able to unlock a lot of these future stars really quickly so as you can see i've already fast forwarded through two showdowns that i started from the beginning it's really important to get the confidence down and get off to a pretty good start. You need to score a couple runs before the pitcher records five or six outs in a row because you're trying to get the confidence down on the pitcher. It does not really matter as much about the stamina. As you can see here, I have eight runs. I'll take you through kind of the middle portion, but I really want to get on a roll here, and we're going to do this another time as well. And the American League is very similar. You're going to face different players, obviously, but the American League is the same type of thing. Both of them are on veteran difficulty. So that's why I feel that it's easier to advance all the way to the end. You're also gaining a lot of XP by doing this. If you notice in the screenshots at the top right corner, you'll see my level going up. I have some XP reward path cards or packs to open and I've included that in my video. I had a bunch of diamond unlockables in my previous video. I did this in my previous video as well if you wanna take a look at that. I did more of the exchange route in that one, but uh, this is the fastest way to do it without spending any stubs or spending any money on stubs for those exchanges. So anyway, what we're doing is we're gonna take as many pitches as possible. If you notice, I have two outs remaining and I still need to score two runs. So luckily we're able to hit a perfect ball into the gap there, that's gonna score the run, the 87 speed. I brought in Billy Hamilton. It's nice to have some speed on your bench. Sometimes the computer will kind of just give you players to fill in for your team. And you might have some speed guys on your reserves that aren't even included on your bench. So make sure when you're building your team to look at all the players that you have as well as to, to select the perks that will affect you on offense. Those are big things right here. So right now we're going to unlock Nolan Gorman by completing this with the exchanges. Already at 20, I had some gold saved up. As you can see down below, I have the exchanges almost maxed out again to 50,000 exchange points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save some of these vouchers and complete one more exchange. I'll probably buy a couple Trevor Bowers, and I think I'm going to include that in this video. But I think that he was going for about 2,000 stubs. Not bad at all. I know I was a little bit over there, over the exchange point uh, total in that sense. But I really wanted this card. He's going to start it for me at first base. And I'll also have a team update at the end of this video. Because I have gotten five of these cards. And they're all going to be on my roster for my Diamond Dynasty team and my push for World Series. So I'm really excited about these cards. I'm really excited to play with some of these prospects. But anyway, now I'm getting started on the Diamondbacks. I'm going to unlock Alec Thomas as well. So I, I do have some vouchers for this, and uh, those are the ones that I saved up through the Cardinals. So I wanted to uh, put them all in this, and this is the best way to do it. There's also a moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete Showdown one time. I might do one exchange, and then I might also do the moment and see where that puts me at. The moments give you about three program points per moment. So you have to get to a certain threshold before you can unlock that moment as well. But as you can see here, I am down to my last out 
with Kevin Crone up at the plate. I actually played against Kevin Crone and CJ Crone in high school. Uh, they went to Mountain Point High School. I pitched against them my, my uh, I think it was my sophomore year. Yeah, and they both hit a home run against me, but my left fielder robbed them both back-to-back, back-to-back batters. Anyway, he gets the job done, and uh, we walk it off there. That was pretty crazy, but what an interesting uh, swing of events in that high school baseball game that I played, you know, 10 years ago. That was kind of uh, a flashback. I'll never forget that, giving up two back-to-back -back home runs that were both robbed from my left fielder, who was a great player. He was an athletic player and uh, one of our best players. He was our leadoff hitter as well, so definitely a solid guy. But anyway, we are able to walk off the next game as well. 14 outs remaining in that one, so not as stressful there. But Juan Soto is the player of the game. It's nice to get a lot of these diamonds. You can try some of these cards out. You can get a feel for... Uh, which cards are good, which cards have a glitchy swing, which cards are tougher to pick up their select uh, pitches on. For example, that Bruzar Gratterall is another one I'm going to be going for right now after unlocking this Alec Thomas. But I, I think that he has a pretty good release in this game. I'm facing him right now, just ironic that I'm going up against him. I missed that ball completely with Willie McCovey, but it is going to be a three-run shot because Bruzar Gratterall's confidence is all the way down. And that's how you're able to score a lot more runs with missing the ball. I mean, McCovey had two home runs there, five RBIs. But I'm trying to get this showdown completed as quickly as possible. So that's what we're doing. We're unlocking these vouchers. We're completing these Stage 2 Team Affinity programs up to 50 points, ready for the next stage. And these just came out today. So I have been able to play for a couple hours as well. That's also nice. But I've also been uh, focusing on preparing for next week's online classes I'm teaching. So I, I do have some lessons that I have to put together. I have some videos I have to make for, for those online classes. So I'm doing a bunch of things at the same time as I'm doing these showdowns. But I want you to take a look at this. I'm down to my last seven outs. I have six runs I need to score in order to tie the game. Seven runs in order to win with seven outs remaining. And I'm going to be as selective as possible. I'm only going to swing at pitches over the middle of the plate and I start to get into a little bit of a rhythm here. We get another base hit. Reese Hoskins goes deep. We start to score a few runs in a row. And now his confidence is all the way down. He's thrown only 48 pitches. So his stamina is still up there. This is a starting pitcher. But he starts to hang more pitches. That was a breaking ball thrown right over the middle of the plate. Travis Janikowski, who has like no power at all, hits it into the gap for a triple. So we start to get into a rhythm, start to get multiple hits in a row and that's what's important so right now i would not take a break from what i was doing in my teaching job but i have been able to uh, multitask fairly well throughout these programs throughout grinding out some of this online content against the computer in terms of diamond dynasty content but uh, for the most part i do like playing this showdown mode i really enjoy it and it's fairly easy to do those other things and complete this so that's really nice to have in the game as well so the fact that you can kind of grind out really good cards for your Diamond Dynasty team and, you know, watch some Netflix, watch some uh, uh, MLB uh, Players League. You can watch some of the NFL Draft. You can do a bunch of different things at the same time of, as doing this. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that as well. That's why I'm not uh, live streaming this showdown mode. But at the same time, I'd rather stream online games once I can get a little bit more prepared for these upcoming meetings in uh, the last couple of weeks of school. Uh, I am going to try and stream as we move towards the summertime here in the next few weeks. But I'm also working a different position at the same type of job that I'm doing. I'm working a little bit of a different position this upcoming year with the contract that I signed. I've recently talked to some people involving that. I just want to be completely transparent with everyone as I've given the majority of my tips in this video. Already in this video, I should say. I mean, I've pretty much given you every single tip that I can think of in showdown i mean if you're down to your last couple outs and you have a guy on second base third base maybe you want to drop a, a sack bunt down maybe you want to drop a suicide squeeze you always risk um you always risk hitting into a double play that way there is a steel glitch in this mode in showdown and any really mo any mode online that doesn't include an, uh, another player so anytime you're playing against the computer in conquest showdown something like that 
you are able to do this steel glitch. I don't necessarily know how to do it. I think if you take a lead and then go back to the base, like press L1 and R1 as the pitcher comes set, you can get a perfect jump and steal practically with anybody. But I wouldn't want to risk that myself simply because I know it's going to give me extra outs that I'm not looking to do. And I haven't had much trouble completing this showdown anyway with this method. So I'm just going to continue to keep doing this, continue to just try and hit home runs. But anyway, that is a method that has worked for a lot of people. I just don't know too much about that. But now I'm going to get into the AL showdown. I'm facing Jose Urquindy. So this guy has a primary pitch of a changeup. That makes it a little different. But if you are able to score a bunch of runs and uh, get the confidence down, it's the same thing. It's the same type of thing just against the American League players and teams. So we get this American League voucher. As you can see, I'm a level 52 gold. In the next screenshot, I'll be a little bit higher with the other AL Team Affinity voucher. As I don't want to take you through a bunch of these showdowns, I'm just going to show this next voucher so as you can see i did it once again i got some more stubs i also got some packs by doing this and these vouchers so i'm going to go ahead and unlock the vidal brujan from the race and that's exactly what i did right there i put those vouchers in along with one exchange i had a bunch of yankees players through the curtis granderson program i have uh, had a bunch of those players stocked up for quite some time and i was waiting to exchange them for uh, the race so that's exactly what i did right there this is the team that we're looking at right now in this video i'm also going to open up the packs that i have uh, from these programs you are able to get a couple ball and as a habit packs one each time you do this each future star card that you unlock you get one ball and pack so that's nice and you also get a couple team affinity packs as well as 3,000 stubs as you move towards those future star diamonds so that's how i was able to build my stubs up a little bit that way and I was able to pull a diamond right here. So that's nice, a diamond and a gold in this pack. We have a shortstop from the American League. I think that this is going to be Francisco Lindor, live series shortstop, and it is. So that's solid. He's gonna sell for about 35, 40K, somewhere in there, and that's what I think he's going for. Yeah, 33 sell now, so probably in that range. But I will sell him. I already have Mickey Mantle. I already have the collections done. So we're just trying to make some stubs back. I am going to uh, try and save some stubs up for some future cards. Uh, it's kind of interesting to say because we got the future star cards, but I'm talking future really good cards like 99 overalls that are going to be released in headliners or, you know, I don't really know how these types of cards are going to be released because we might see, you know, more boosted live series cards later on in these team affinity programs. I'm not really sure what SDS is, is going to do. But I am excited for all this content. I'm excited to try some of these cards out. I wanted to get this video out for you all though because this is the fastest method in order to complete showdown quickly. Just skip all the way to the end and complete that in order to get those cards. No money spent, no stubs spent, no exchanges, none of that stuff. Just free diamonds and that's what everybody loves. And that's why this mode, this ultimate team mode in, in any sports game, I think is the best one. I think you can get a no money spent. You can get an end game team without spending money. And it's the easiest way to do it in, in MLB The Show. I think other sports games, it makes it a little bit tougher. And you have to uh, grind a little bit longer, I would say. The solos and the, the individual challenges are a little bit longer in terms of time. But at the same time, like I said earlier, I'm able to kind of multitask and complete other things. But that's going to do it for this video. I did sell Francisco Lindor. And that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Hopefully you're having a lot of success with your showdown runs as well. Until next time, everyone. Peace out.